Hello guys. For our lesson, you will need your student's book, English 5, part 1. Today we'll continue to study Unit 1, School Holidays, Places to Go. Lesson 4, Nikita's Summer. Listen to Nikita's letter about his summer and place the pictures in the right order. Be attentive. Unit 1, Lesson 4, Exercise 1A, 1B. Dear Mike and Liz, how are you? I'm fine. Today is the first school day here, but my summer holidays were fantastic. In June I was at summer camp. I was there with my friend. We played football and volleyball every day. In the evenings we danced at the disco or watched films at the cinema. We watched the new film Dinosaurs Come Back. It was cool. In July I was in the country. I was there with my cousin. I visited my granny. We helped her in the garden. Our granny was happy. In August I was at the seaside. I was there with my mom and dad. It was hot and sunny every day. The water was very warm. One day we visited the zoo. I liked the zebra, my mom liked the giraffe, and my dad liked the hippo. Mike and Liz, please write about your summer. Yours, Nikita. Now let's check. 1. Picture B 2. Picture C 3. Picture A. Well done. Now listen to Nikita again. Where was Nikita in his summer holidays? Listen, be attentive and answer the question. Unit 1, Lesson 4. Exercise 1A, 1B. Dear Mike and Liz, how are you? I'm fine. Today is the first school day here, but my summer holidays were fantastic. In June I was at summer camp. I was there with my friend. We played football and volleyball every day. In the evenings we danced at the disco or watched films at the cinema. We watched the new film Dinosaurs Come Back. It was cool. In July I was in the country. I was there with my cousin. I visited my granny. We helped her in the garden. Our granny was happy. In August I was at the seaside. I was there with my mom and dad. It was hot and sunny every day. The water was very warm. One day we visited the zoo. I liked the zebra, my mom liked the giraffe, and my dad liked the hippo. Mike and Liz, please write about your summer. Yours, Nikita. Now stop this video and answer the question, where was Nikita in his summer holidays? Now let's check your answers. In June Nikita was at summer camp with his friend. In July he was in the country with his cousin. In August Nikita was at the seaside with his mom and dad. Well done! Listen and read Nikita's letter. Write six action verbs to answer the questions. What did Nikita do in summer holidays? And what did he like? What do the verbs have in common? For example, Nikita played football and volleyball at summer camp. Listen and be attentive. Unit 1, Lesson 4, Exercise 1A, 1B Dear Mike and Liz, how are you? I'm fine. Today is the first school day here, but my summer holidays were fantastic. In June I was at summer camp. I was there with my friend. We played football and volleyball every day. In the evenings we danced at the disco or watched films at the cinema. We watched the new film Dinosaurs Come Back. It was cool. 
In July, I was in the country. I was there with my cousin. I visited my granny. We helped her in the garden. Our granny was happy. In August, I was at the seaside. I was there with my mom and dad. It was hot and sunny every day. The water was very warm. One day we visited the zoo. I liked the zebra, my mom liked the giraffe, and my dad liked the hippo. Mike and Liz, please write about your summer. Yours, Nikita. Now stop this video and do the task. So, what did Nikita do in summer holidays? What did he like? Check your answers. Nikita played football and volleyball at summer camp. In the evenings, he danced at the disco or watched films at the cinema. Nikita watched a new film Dinosaurs Come Back. Nikita visited his granny and helped her in the garden. One day he visited the zoo. So what do these verbs have in common? Right, the verbs have the same ending, ed. Good job. It's grammar time. The topic for today is the past simple tense, positive sentences with regular verbs. Прошедшее простое время. Утвердительное предложение с правильными глаголами. Все глаголы в английском языке делятся на две группы. Правильные – regular verbs. И неправильные – irregular verbs. Те глаголы, которые меняют свою форму по определенному правилу, мы называем правильными – regular. Те глаголы, которые меняют свою форму не по правилу, мы называем неправильными – irregular. Now let's read some affirmative sentences in the past simple tense with regular verbs. One. I lived in a small apartment. Two. He lived in a big house. Three. He played football yesterday. So, what do these regular verbs have in common? Что общего у этих правильных глаголов? Yes, these verbs end in ed. Верно. Окончание ed. So, to make a past tense verb, we normally just add ed to the end of a regular verb. For example, play, played, rain, rained, cook, cooked, watch, watched, need, needed, want, wanted. But there are some spelling rules. If the regular verb already ends in E, we just add D to the end of the verb. Live, lived, smile, smiled, dance, danced. It is also necessary to pronounce the ending ED correctly. If the end of the word sounds like P, K, S, F, Th, Ch, Sh, ks, the ending ed is pronounced t. For example, bake, baked. Если основа глагола заканчивается на глухую согласную, окончание ed произносится как звук t. If the end of the word sounds like t or d, the ending ed is pronounced id. Skate, skated. Если основа глагола заканчивается на ч или дж, окончание ed произносится как звук id. Skate, skated. Если основа глагола заканчивается на звонку согласную или гласную, окончание ed произносится как звук d. Snow, snowed. Play, played. Listen, listened. Transform the regular verbs in brackets into the past simple. Stop this video and do the task. Check your answers. 1. He lived in Rome long ago. 2. Rose stayed home alone. 3. 
My sister tidied her room. Four. Everybody watched the match. Five. I visited my grandparents. Six. The car stopped at the lights. Seven. Caesar died in 44 BC. Eight. They enjoyed the music. Nine. The frog jumped very high. Ten. My father cooked the meal. Very well done. Now read the sentences and answer. When did Nikita do it? For example, Nikita visited his granny in July. Stop this video and do the task. Check your answers. So, when did Nikita do it? 1. Nikita visited his granny in July. 2. He played football and volleyball with his friend in June. 3. He visited the zoo with his family in August. 4. He danced at the disco with his friends in June. 5. He helped his granny in July. 6. He watched films at the cinema in June. Good job. When did you last do it? When did you last tidy your room? When did you last watch a film? When did you last listen to music? When did you last dance at the disco? Have a look at the model. I tidied my room yesterday. I watched a film two hours ago. I visited my friend last Sunday. I visited a museum last year. I played computer games last week. Now stop this video and answer the question. Now it's time for the writing task. Write six, eight sentences about what you did in summer using regular verbs in past simple. Here is what I did in summer. I stayed at home in the beginning of July. I played computer games and read books. I listened to music and played volleyball every day in July. I visited my grandmother in August and helped her in the garden. How about you? Stop this video, please, and write about your summer. You've done really well today. The lesson is over. See you 